Now, uh, we're looking for an interpreter for you. Do we, how are we doing? Do we have an interpreter? Okay. Uh, but I understand that you speak a little English. Yes. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. I hope you don't mind if I eat while we're talking. I have a bit of bad news. It seems that your country has suspended all traveling privileges on passports that have been issued by your government. And our State Department has revoked the visa that was going to allow you to enter the United States. That's it in a nutshell, basically, right? Anyway, it seems that while you were in the air, there was a military coup in your country. Now, most of the dead were members of the Presidential Guard. They were attacked in the middle of the night. It was a terrible firefight. Uh, they got it all on GHN, I, I think. Anyway, there were very few civilian casualties, so I'm sure your family's fine. Mr. Navorsky, your country was annexed from the inside. The Republic of Krakosia is under new leadership. Krakosia! Krakosia! <laughs> Krakosia. Right. Mm. I don't think, uh, I don't think he, he gets it. Okay. Uh, let me, let me, okay. Look, imagine that these potato chips are Krakosia, uh, okay? Krakosia. Krakosia. Yes. Krakosia. Okay. Uh, so the potato chips are Krakosia. Okay. Okay. Uh, and this apple. Big apple. Big apple. The big apple represents the Liberty Rebels. Okay. No more Krakosia. Okay. D new government. Revolution. You understand? So all the flights in and out of your country have been suspended indefinitely. And the new government has sealed all the borders, which means that your passport and visa are no longer valid. So currently, you are a citizen of nowhere. Now, even if we could get you new papers, we couldn't process them until the United States recognizes your country's new diplomatic reclassification. Yeah, see, you don't qualify for asylum, refugee status, temporary protective status, humanitarian parole, or non-immigration work travel or diplomatic visas. You don't qualify for any of these things. You are, at this time, simply Unacceptable. 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 Big Apple tour include Brooklyn Bridge, Empire State, Broadway show, Cats. Well, I got more bad news for you, Mr. Navorsky. Cats has closed. Okay, okay. <laughs> now I go to New York City. Thank no, you. Mr. Navorsky, look, I cannot Thank allow you. you to enter the United States at this time. Uh, Krakosia. Uh, we can't allow you to go home either. Right. Krakosia. And the thing is, you don't really have a home. Yes. You don't. Technically, it doesn't exist. I mean, it's a, it's like a it's like a Twilight Zone. Do you ever see that show? Yes. Huh? Did you get that show over there? Yes. Yes. Uh, Talking Tina, Nightmare at Thirty Thousand Feet, Xanti Misfits. Oh, Xanti Misfits. That's out of limits, right? Oh, really? Well, it's not important. Anyway, where do I buy the Nike shoes? Okay, Mr. Mr. Borsky, come on, walk with me. Here's my dilemma, Mr. Borsky. You have no legal right to enter the United States, and I have no legal right to detain you. It seems that you have fallen through a small crack in the system. I am correct. Yes. So, until we get this sorted out, I have no choice but to allow you to enter the International Transit Lounge. All right? So I'm going to sign a release form that is going to make you a free man. Free? Free. 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 Free to go anywhere you like within the confines of the International Transit Lounge. Okay? Okay. 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 I'm sure that Uncle Sam will have this all sorted out by tomorrow and welcomes the United States. Almost. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, George. 